Okay, so what we have here is a um, Lenovo T430. It actually came out in around 2014, 2015, I believe. I can double check that and put it on the screen. It basically is workstation light. Um, I say that because really the workstation for the Lenovo wasn't this particular laptop. It was the W series, which eventually got replaced by the P series. But what you could actually do is you could actually get one of these and you could outfit it with a lot of the same um, running gear that the W series had. And then you get a lighter, smaller form factor versus the full frame, much larger uh, five or W530. Granted, you get a little different keyboard. Uh, because you have less real estate, you don't get the full number pad that comes on the W series. But other than that, Pretty much everything is the same. You also are fortunate enough to get the GPU that's actually offered on the workstation here. So this one, when I outfitted it, it came with the, or actually I got the um, Quattro uh, K1000. That's about a gigabyte of uh, dedicated graphics uh, memory. I should say memory for dedicated graphics. And uh, an upgraded, slightly larger fan and cooling uh, system that allowed me to basically upgrade the processor because normally what people do is they'll buy this laptop and you know, they figure out that, hey, this thing has a certain socket that you can actually change it without doing anything too drastic, which I've already done that. But they normally, because they don't have that upgraded or that GPU, they have to upgrade the fan as well. Didn't have to do that when I got in there. All that stuff was already there because I already spec'd it with the graphics card. So today, what I'm going to do, since I've already done the processor, it's actually been going, running fairly smoothly. I benchmarked it the other day. I played um, uh, Bioshock Infinite. I went downstairs actually and put it on my uh, big screen 4K just because this screen is pretty terrible. So what I decided to do was to order this screen. And for those of you that aren't familiar with this screen, this is actually, it's called an LP140 W02 TLG1. And basically it's an LG screen that um, it's glossy, which I'm not a huge fan of. And by the way, that bubble is um, the wrap that's protecting it. But this is a matte screen. Of course, this is a glossy screen. I'll have to get used to that. There are some knockoffs. A lot of guys that were actually selling these and seeing that they were this screen, but it was actually matte, and that's not true. So I went with a glossy screen. I watched a couple of uh, YouTube videos just to see what it looked like, and definitely there was a much better viewing angle, uh, especially versus this panel. So let me talk about this panel for one moment. This was actually the only upgrade for this model as far as the display is concerned. You didn't really have the choice of getting an IPS. You could only get TN, uh, TN screen. And this one was the 1600 by 900 versus the uh, 1366 by 768. So it's a slight step up. It still is not a really, really great screen. Used it, it worked for its intended purpose but it was definitely time to, to change it. And I figured after I did the processor and I got everything running the way that I wanted it to, uh, my next logical step was this, because really the main reason for upgrading this uh, laptop was so I could actually do uh, more video. And my goal is to actually be able to edit 4K with this machine. I'll let you know how that goes as I continually upgrade this thing. So now, I'm at my, uh, I guess it will be my, my second stage. I've already upgraded the processor. Didn't do a video for that. Uh, but I can tell you, I went to a 36, uh, or excuse me, an i7 3632M, QM, and I noticed a pretty significant difference. Um, I do know that this laptop, I have 12 gigs in here right now for RAM. And the main reason is because there's a memory slot on the other side that... Once you open it up, the stick is literally like right there. So you can pop this out 
and pop one in. The other one, however, you have to actually dismantle it. It's underneath the keyboard. And to be quite honest with you, you know, in hindsight, I would have done that whenever I upgraded the processor since I was already in there, but I did not. So that's something I'll save for probably stage three, but I don't know what that is. It's like chalk or something. So once again, next step will be to upgrade this bad boy with this nice new screen. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. The only tools that I should need are these, and these are just pries. So basically I can slide them underneath, I can pop clips off, remove the screen. I don't have to solder anything. I'm expecting this to go pretty smoothly actually. And uh, yeah, shouldn't have any issues. After that, uh, really my stage three is gonna be, I'm gonna add a one terabyte SSD. I actually had a, uh, oh, let me see, what is it? I think it's an ADATA. Forget the brand, but uh, it's on its way. Should be here by Saturday, so I'm gonna throw that in here because I really think that that is the bottleneck at this point, and it's mainly because I have a X250. I also have an X60S, which is quite a ways behind this one, and uh, both of those boot up way faster. Uh, and like I said, the X60S, let me see, that's... Um, Three generations, I believe, behind this computer, and it's way faster, uh, and it has a, low, a slower processor by far. This one has the upgraded processor, and that one still boots up faster. Um, but then I also have the next 250, which is two generations ahead of this one, but it only has an i3 processor, and it leaves this um, laptop in the dust. So, yeah, I'm gonna knock this out. Throw the after I throw the screen in, throw the SSD in there. And then probably the last step would be to take the RAM up to 16 gigs. The only issue I've read so far is evidently there is something weird with the BIOS that sometimes it doesn't necessarily recognize that full 16 gigs. And there's some, some things you have to do uh, to flash the BIOS to get it to do so. And I think it's really detailed. I'm kind of looking forward to doing that because so far everything I've done with this laptop has been fairly simple. So... Yeah, that's about it.